Now, she has completed well over 1,700 stem cell transplants on patients in the East Midlands. But Professor Anne Hunter finally said goodbye to her absorbing, life-saving work in Leicester today. She was the first woman to head a haematology stem cell transplant unit in the UK. As our health correspondent Rob Sissons reports, Professor Hunter has been involved in treating blood disorders like leukaemia ever since. Saying thanks, many of the people in this room owe their life to Professor Hunter. Modern medicine, stem cell transplants for leukaemia and blood disorders. For me, you have enabled me to have the career of my dreams. I came here from Nottingham, I'd been a consultant there for three years. It's been an amazing job at the Leicester Royal Infirmary. She'd love to do it all again. How many marrows have we got uh, to do today? I am in awe of uh, the spirit of so many of these people, the treatments that they've had, the good humour that they've taken it with, and the sense of belief that they've given the team. We need to take a moment to reflect on the patients who um, have not had the outcomes that we wanted them to have. Reunited with Brick Basra, a former police inspector who had a successful transplant eight years ago after an international search for a donor. Just in time, a bone marrow match for Rick Basra. As a patient, it's Professor Hunter's straight talking he liked. Sometimes you receive bad news, sometimes good. Um, certainly with Anne, um, it's someone that you would want to fight in your corner every single time. And Rick's been inspired to find more donors. We've signed up thousands now and we've had quite a few come through as matches. We've actually made Leicestershire top in the country for stem cell recruitment. It's here where they match people for transplant. 21 years ago when Professor Hunter started, success rates were around 60 to 70 percent. Today it's 90. Back then they did 10 transplants a year in Leicester. This year they're expecting to perform 90. We are offering more transplants to more people, to older people, and getting better results as um, time goes on, as we learn more, as the science improves. They say all good things come to an end. Professor Hunter's now excited about the start of her new chapter. Rob Sissons, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester.